All right, so this video we're going to look at finding uh, amplitude, period, phase shift, and any vertical translation. So let's look at it for sine and cosine, uh, tangent, and all the other ones. They're similar. Uh, so here we've got y equals a sine of bx plus c plus d and y equals a cosine bx plus c plus d. And here's your formulas to find the phase shift. The amplitude, the period, and the vertical translation. Alright, so the amplitude is just the absolute value of whatever's in front of the trig function. Okay, you can see it's the absolute value of A. A is the part in front of the trig function. The period is 2 pi over B. Okay. B is the number in front of X here. The phase shift is negative C over B. There's C and there's B. And then the vertical translation, that's D. Okay. Now the phase shift tells you how the graph moves left and right and the vertical translation tells you how the graph moves up and down. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with the examples. I've got four of them here. And you may want to stay and watch for this one because you see how this one looks different than the other ones. It's got this four and then this is in parentheses. All right, so let's look at number one first. All right, so first the amplitude is equal to the absolute value of three, which is just positive three. So there's the amplitude. Now let's find the period. Well, remember the period is two pi is 2 pi over b. Well what's b? Well remember b is the number in front of x so b in this case is 3 and so there's your period 2 pi uh, I'm sorry alright so now let's find the period so the period, remember that is 2 pi over b. And in this case, b is 2. So that's 2 pi over 2, which is pi. All right, now the phase shift. Okay, so the phase shift is negative c over b. Well, you can see in this problem Remember, it was bx minus c. Well, all we have is the bx. There's no, c. I'm sorry, the formula was bx plus c. So the, the formula had this plus c. Well, see, we don't have a plus c here. So in this case, c is 0. So our phase shift is just 0. But if you wanted to plug it in, you could plug in 0 for c and 2 for b which would be zero, so there's no phase shift. And then also, remember we had that what? The plus D out here. You had sine and the A. Well, there's no plus anything out here. So the vertical translation is zero. There's none, okay? All right, so let's look at a, another one. And, and I'm going uh, to give you a little hint also on a way to find the phase shift uh, if you don't remember the formula. All right, so let's look at number two. So number two, we have the amplitude is the absolute value of A, and we can see A is negative four, and so the amplitude would be four. The period is 2 pi over b, and in this case b is 3. Okay. 
uh, phase shift. All right, so the phase shift, that's negative C, okay? So what is C? Well, remember it's plus C, and here we have minus, so C is negative pi over 2, and then B is 3, all right? So this is going to be pi over 2 over 3. The negative and negative make a positive. And this is pi over 2 divided by 3, or we can look at it as 3 over 1. So that's going to be what? Pi over 2 divided by 3, or pi over 2 times the reciprocal, so times 1 third. And so we get pi over 6. There's your phase shift. And then notice there's no plus D out here. That doesn't have it, so the vertical translation zero or there's no vertical translation okay all right let's look at the next one all right so for number three all right let's find the amplitude well that's the absolute value of a a is one half so the absolute value of one half is just one half. The period is two pi over b. Now, remember this x over two, that is the same thing as one half x. So one half is the number in front of x. So one half, I'm sorry, two pi over one half. 2 pi over b and so that's going to be what 2 pi divided by 1 half or 2 pi times the reciprocal so times the reciprocal of 1 half is 2 and so this is 4 pi and then the phase shift that's negative c well in this case c is positive 1 fourth so that's one-fourth over B and remember we saw that B was one-half okay so that's negative one-fourth times the reciprocal of this so times two over one and so that's negative one-half and then the vertical translation you can see there's no plus D or anything so that is just zero there's no vertical translation all right so what I want to mention to you before I start the last problem is the phase shift that minus C over B. Look, to find the phase shift, all you have to do, you see what you're taking the sine of or what you're taking the cosine of, okay? Whatever that is, all you have to do is take that, set it equal to zero and solve. So if we move the pi over two over, we get 3x equals whoop, 3x equals pi over 2 and then we multiply everything by one third to get rid of the 3 so x equal pi over 6 that's another way you can do the phase shift just whatever you're taking the sine or cosine of just set it equal to 0 and solve for x all right all right so now let's look at the last problem now, if you notice, this one's in a little bit different format than the other ones, okay? This part here is different. So what this is, is this is in the form A cosine B X plus C plus D. Now, I know the D is over here and not back here behind the, that's, that's fine that's not a big deal what we're looking at is this right here okay so let's just go ahead real quick and get the the amplitude and the period and then we'll talk about the phase shift okay so the amplitude is just the absolute value of a and in this case a that's the number in front, right in front of cosine is one-third so that's the absolute value of one-third, which is just 
one third. And then the period, okay, so the period, remember that is 2 pi over b. Well, what's b? Well, you can see this is b, the number right in front of the parentheses. So that's 4, b is 4, and so the period is pi over 2. Okay, now let's look at the phase shift. Now I'm going to find this two different ways, and but I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how how this works out. All right. So with the four out here, see how how this b is outside the parentheses. See everywhere else is just right up against the x, except for here. It's separated from the x and the pi over two. All right. So when this happens, your phase shift is just negative c. So this would be negative pi over 2, and that's your phase shift. Okay. Now, let me show you how that works out. So if this, if you distribute this, okay, if you distribute, then You've got uh, cosine 4x plus 2 pi, if I distribute the 4. Okay, so now let's go ahead and find the phase shift like we did in all of these. It's what? Negative c, and I'm using this one now, negative c, c is 2 pi, over b. And what's b? b is 4. And so that's, whoop, and so that's negative pi over 2. Now, let me say this. Some books will put the problems like this, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, okay? But let me say this. I think it's easier to do the negative c over b. So, what I would recommend, I'm not saying you have to do this, but I would recommend when you have something like this, just go ahead and distribute that 4 and then find the phase shift like you did here. Okay, And then we've got the vertical translation. Let's find that. So the vertical translation, that's D. Well, what's D in this case? It's negative 3. So it's negative 3. So we know this graph is going to shift down 3 units. Alright, so I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And Thanks for watching.